What's going on everybody? Luke here with Stone Coat Countertops. Today we're going to learn how Mike takes a couple dyes and metallics and recreates exotic natural stone. He makes this piece, this piece, and that piece. That one was kind of a Baltic brown recipe with our clay and copper metallics, so no dyes in that one, but these one are the dyes, so stay tuned, check it out. Remember, when you subscribe to our channel, click on the red subscribe button and be sure to ring the bell so you get notified every time we have a new video. Thanks again. Our normal stone coat countertop epoxy is a one to one ratio. We're going to mix the epoxy for about two minutes using a drill. Then we're going to go ahead and add our dyes. A little goes a long way with our dyes. You don't need much, just a couple drops. We're going to spread the epoxy with our 1 8 by 1 8 square notch trowel. This trowel is perfect for getting even coverage across your piece. Then we'll take a chop brush and go ahead and chop it out. What this does is help level the epoxy and hide those trowel lines. Don't forget your edges. Okay, time for the fun part. We're going to add some color. A simple technique that we use is taking a paint stick and using the tip of it to add your color to your piece. Go ahead and use that and just spread some of that color across the board. Since these pieces aren't in place like a countertop is, we can heat the epoxy up, lift and tilt it to get some cool natural looking effects and striations. But if you're trying to replicate this recipe over an existing countertop and you can't tilt it obviously, go ahead and use a torch and a heat gun and move those colors around. It will give you the same effect. All right, for the next piece, we're gonna use our orange and blue translucent dyes. We're gonna mix them together and then we're gonna pour all the colors on the board at the same time and just mix them up with our hands. Pro tip, don't over mix your colors together. They'll just become one color if you do that. All you want to do is just get an even coat over your whole piece. When you torch and then tilt, don't be afraid to tilt it in different directions. This gives you a cool stacking effect. Boom, second piece is done. MDF is very porous, so we like to do two coats of paint and primer in one. This will make sure that we have a good base color to work with. Our first step, we're going to take our metallics mixed with 91% isopropyl alcohol and spray some of that on our board before we put our epoxy. This is going to give us some cool undertones. For this piece, we didn't use any dyes, we just used our copper and clay metallics. This is essentially our Baltic brown recipe, so go ahead and check it out on StokoCountertops.com. We have a step-by-step -step PDF that teaches you how to recreate this. Also, we did the same technique, just with different colors, in a recent remodel video of ours. That one was our green and gold metallics. If you haven't seen that video, check it out. That kitchen came out amazing. Now that our undertones are done, we're going to go ahead and pour our clear epoxy over it. Same steps as before, trowel chop torch. Then we'll take our gloss black Rust-Oleum spray paint and spray an even coat over the entire piece. Don't worry, you haven't ruined the piece. You're going to take your metallics in the spray bottle and spray that on top of the spray paint. This is going to give you an awesome granified look. If you find something that you really like and you want to replicate that, 
we most likely already have a step-by-step how-to on that recipe. So make sure to go check them out at StokoCountertops.com. So let me know which one do you like best. Option A, option B, or option C. A is the white one, B is the green one, C is the clay, copper, granite looking one. Let me know. I honestly can't decide which one I like better. I like them all kind of equally different, if that makes sense. <laughs> but yeah, let me know in the comments below what you think. And until next time, you got this. We'll see you guys on the next video. Hey there, if you're new to our channel and new to the epoxy world, go ahead and check out our 10 part series where we show you how to make stuff like this. Natural looking stone, easy techniques, simple to follow along. We have 10 different recipes, 10 different PDFs. So make sure to check out those videos. Go ahead and click the link. It's gonna take you to the page where we have all those step-by-step -step how to's. And you're gonna find out just how easy it is to actually do this stuff. If I can do it, you can do it. If you can do it, they can do it. If they can do it, we can all do it. I can do it. Chris can do it. He's in the back doing his thing. What's up, Chris? I'm doing it. He's doing it. Now it's your turn. Click that link, check it out.